Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome to another Thrifty Thursday, where I visit a local thrift store in search of tingly items to share with you. So, if you've never seen Thrifty Thursday, there are three basic rules that I have to follow. Rule number one, I cannot spend over five dollars. Rule number two, the item I find has to be not only tingle-worthy, but also something that I will use for the foreseeable future. And rule number three, each time I visit the thrift store, I have to bring something of mine to donate. Something that I'm not using anymore, but might benefit someone else. So, on this week's trip to the thrift store, I, I donated um, a sweater and uh, some old linens that don't, don't fit my bed. And, uh, see, an old diaper bag and an old purse. And what I found, I can't believe I found. I'm so excited. <laughs> I found a Wilton, what's it called? Cookie Pro Ultra 2. And this is what's called a cookie press. And you use it to make a little, what are called um, spritz cookies, like what you see in this picture. You use it to press out little uh, designs kind of like cookie cutters, but different. Um, and I found this for exactly five dollars. And I knew I had to get it because I love to, to bake and to cook. You might not know that about me, but now you do. I love baking and I love making cookies especially, and I've never owned one of these before. I've never actually even used one, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. First, I'll open it up. So, there it is. There's the actual cookie press. And you see how it's clear? You fill it up with uh, your cookie batter. And then all these little discs right here. You put those into the cookie press, and they create different shapes of cookies. And I will show you on the back. They have a guide uh, on the back of what each disc, uh, what shape it creates. So these are all the different shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make some cookie batter and fill up my new cookie pro and make some cookies with you guys. Um, now before you say, Ali, you can't make cookies from a cookie press that you bought at the thrift store, I will have you know that I have already run it through the dishwasher so it's clean. So don't worry. And all the little discs are clean too. I just wash them and put them back in the box. So, I think the shapes that I'm going to go with today, I'm going to make some of these sort of rectangular ones. And I'm thinking that I'm going to dip them in some chocolate. Maybe like half Maybe I'll make some, uh, I like this, this design right here. I'll make some of that. And what else? Maybe one more. Um, how about this little flower right here? I think those are the ones I'm going to make. And after they're baked and ready, I'm going to decorate them for you guys. So, I'm going to go make some cake batter. I mean, cookie batter. <laughs> Let's go make some cookies together. Okay, guys. So, I've made some show it to you up close and show you some of the fun 
discs that came with it. So, you place one of these, one of these discs. So it comes with, um, let's see, I believe, oh, how many is this? I think this is 16 of these little discs. 12 of them are normal sized and 4 of them make miniature mini cookies. I think this is one of the these little holes cut out and that's where the batter goes through I think oh no this isn't the one I'm going to use today a little hole in the middle of the cookie that would be good for uh, know, filling with chocolate or jam maybe some of the some of the discs are holiday themed like this one this little Christmas tree these cookies are especially This will be good when the holidays come around. This one is one of the ones that I'll be using today. So I'm going to set it aside. It's going to make a sort of uh, flower, like a floor. one I'll be using also. It's going to be a flower. Looking forward to this one. And I'm trying to find the last one. Ah, this is the third one that I'll be using. It's going to make
heart-shaped cookie. Just cute. This one makes a little pumpkin for Halloween cookies. See, there's the uh, oh, there's the stem of the pumpkin. Before we go forward, I just want to let you know that this part of the video had some really abrasive noises, so uh, I couldn't edit them out, so I'm just going to do a little narration here instead. So what I'm telling you about here is how, uh, in order to make the rectangular cookies, I have to make sort of just one long strip of cookie and make little perforations uh, in order to make individual cookies, and you'll just sort of break them once they're baked along the perforations. So, yeah, unfortunately, the cookie press was making some really loud noises right here. Okay, so I'm just sort of squeezing out the dough using the, the trigger on the cookie press. And that's... <laughs> okay, there we go. So I just have to sort of click it repeatedly to create that long strip of dough and it looks like I made it a little too long on that side so now I have to go through and make some little perforations and I didn't have a knife uh, in the room so I used the edge of a little tube of pink decorating gel which is what I am going to use later to decorate the cookies. So I just go through and start making little perforations in the dough where I want each cookie to be. And this actually worked really well once the cookies were baked and I had to sort of break them apart. This worked great. So this is definitely the way to do it. So I think with this last one, it up and put it on the other end of the strip. Okay. So now I'm going to, looks like I'm going to change out the disc and I think, oh yeah, the next one I'm getting is the flower one that has like four petals. Take that off and remove that disc. And then I'm kind of pressing the dough in there. So I've got the new disc. I'm going to place it into the bottom of the cookie press. And I'm going to screw it back on. And yeah, because 
because uh, the cylinder is clear, you can see how much dough you have left, so I knew that pretty soon I would need to change out, or you know, add some more dough. But I had enough at this point, I think. So. Now I'm just going to, I guess, place it. Place the cookie press onto the pan where I want the cookie to go. Just like that. So this was making some really nice little <laughs> click noises. Well, sort of nice. It would have been nice if it wasn't so loud and abrasive. So, uh, I'm sad that you guys are missing out on click noises, so I'll make some myself to sort of reenact it. dough that I'm using is spritz cookie dough. These are what are called spritz cookies. And you want to use uh, spritz cookie dough in order to make these uh, instead of just regular sugar cookie dough because it will hold its shape much better than regular cookie dough. So the recipe that I made, uh, it makes, uh, makes a lot of cookies. I think it yields like or eight dozen cookies. I still have a bunch of the cookie dough rolled up in my fridge uh, to use another day because I didn't even use half of it for, for this video. So, anyway, it, it, it's different from a sugar cookie. It doesn't taste as sweet and it's got more of a um, kind of like a shortbread flavor to it. It's really nice sweet, but it's not very, very sweet. And uh, with a cookie press like this, you can also make um, kind of like a more of a cracker, like a savory, like a cheese cracker. It doesn't have to necessarily be a sweet cookie. So I might try that. Oh, at this point I'm putting more dough in. I had kind of rolled it into a log, so I placed it in to the cookie press and kind of pushed it down. And I think now I'm about to change out the disc to the other flower, the one that has lots of petals. Okay, and click. And click. And click. Oh, nope. can fit quite a few of those on one cookie sheet. Okay, well now that this part is all done, let's go uh, decorate the cookies. Okay guys, so my cookies are all done and now it's time to decorate them. So with these little flowery ones, I'm gonna use decorating gel. But then for the uh, rectangular ones, I'm going to dip them halfway into this red chocolate. So let's get started. So this is a red candy melt. And you can buy these in lots of colors. Uh, but it's basically just dip these about halfway and then let them 
sit here on this wax paper to dry. I'm going to do that with the rest of them too. Halfway. son is going to be very, very happy about all these cookies. He's a big cookie fan. And last one. use some of this gel to put some pink in the middle, so I think. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> and I want to do the petals as well. Be really careful because these are kind of delicate and they feel sort of crumbly. I don't want it to crumble up in my hand. I'm just gonna do the center of those. Oh. <laughs> and maybe a couple little dots. red chocolate on it. I'm gonna get that off. Okay. And do the center. Maybe do the lines right here this time. Oh, I like that. That's really cute. I think I'll do the rest like that. Uh-oh. Uh, might be unavoidable. Okay. Leave it alone.
excited that I found this cookie press because these came out looking so cute. It's really, I'm just constantly amazed. Ever since I started doing Thrifty Thursday, just becoming more and more amazed at the kinds of things that you can find at thrift stores that people are willing to give up. things that I donate are, you know, perfectly good. They're just not really of much use to me anymore. So, I guess same goes for this cookie press and yeah, the brush set from last week. I, I guess they were it's not really being used. Which is awesome for me. <laughs> I keep coming across all these great items. I'm really happy about it. I don't know if um, anyone cares that much, but I want to tell you, because I'm thinking about it right now, about this new show I've just finished uh, watching the first season, the only season. It's getting a lot of, it's gaining a lot of popularity right now. It's on Netflix. It's called Orange is the New Black. Totally sucked in, and I just, for any of you who have been watching the show, you know that it's so addictive. And I'm bummed out because there's just the one season out right now. I think they're filming the second season. missing it right now since I've just been watching it non-stop, but I definitely recommend it uh, for any of you who have, haven't seen it, and if you have Netflix. It's about a woman, young woman, who's kind of, um, kind of upper class, I guess. federal prison for, I think, uh, maybe like 15 months, a little over a year. And it's just sort of a show about her, her time there and the people that she encounters. And it's sort of a comedy drama. Uh, it has Jason Biggs and I can't remember the name of the main actor. Also the, oh I don't know her name, the actress who plays, or played Donna in that 70s show. Uh, she has a, a part in the show also. Now I'm trying to get into Breaking Bad, just because everyone says awesome things about it. 
apparently it's just like one of the best TV shows on on TV. And I want to try it. I've watched the first episode, but maybe I need to watch a little bit more to really get into the story. you have enjoyed this week's Thrifty Thursday. I had a lot of fun making my making my cookies with you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me make all these cute little cookies. So, I will be seeing you guys again very soon.